draw best fit lines through data points on a graph or data points on a graph. Okay, so uh, here's my graph. You need a title. I don't. Why would you want to join up dot to dot to dot to dot? That's just crazy. Uh, you need to draw the line of best fit because that will show that you understand that your experiment had minor errors and you can kind of smooth out these errors by drawing the line of best fit through your data. If your data was perfect and you did what I did there dot to dot, it would be a straight line, but your data isn't. Now, if you know that te temperature versus pressure, at zero pressure, you should extrapolate to minus 273 Kelvin. And pressure is proportional to temperature. It should give you a straight line. Okay, so I need a straight line. And I want the answer to come out at 273. So why not start there and then just draw a straight line from there? Well, that's cheating. That's not science, is it? Starting off with the answer. That's like shooting a barn door and then, and then drawing the target in afterwards. No, that's not what you're supposed to do. So using the data points that you have, I'm going to draw a line of best fit. And I'm going to look at that intersection there. That looks to me about minus 175, something like that, degree C. All right then. So I've used my line of best fit to extrapolate my data and draw conclusions from it. Well, Excel will do that as well. So if you press these buttons, uh, which use linear, and then fix that number there, it will extrapolate out. Ah. Now you can just eyeball the new intersection. I reckon that's about, not really sure. Well, you know what? Excel will give me the line of best fit equation in font six. Great, let me just make that bigger. Let me just make that bigger. Let me just make that bigger. <sighs> I'm experiencing Excel rage. There we go. Okay, that's the equation of the line. If I set y equal to zero, then I can solve for x which just gives me minus 189 degrees C. Alrighty, so this, uh, this looks like it probably should be a curve, but that doesn't stop some people joining the first point to the last point and going, that's my line of best fit. No, it's not. If it was, it would be too low, and it's not a line, it's a curve. Or you could just join dot to dot to dot. No, no, nature is going to give you a smooth line for an experiment like this. And you have to show that you understand that by drawing a smooth line of best fit using those data points. Nature wouldn't give you a line like that. Your experimental error gave you that. Try and smooth it out. Well, there's a straight line of best fit, but still, isn't that a curve? Okay, let me try and draw the curve of best fit in. Here we go. Mmm. It went below almost all of them, so that's wrong. Let me try again. Okay, that's good. Now, how did I know I had to start at zero, zero? Well, that actually makes sense. At zero time, I had no gas. My experiment hadn't started. So yeah, zero, zero, that's good. Now, you can also get Excel to draw in the line of best fit for you, or the curve of best fit. Well, there's a line of best fit. That doesn't help. It gets upset if you choose log because the zeros cause it to go crazy. So let's try again. Choose the one below log. Now that line of best fit goes up and down again. That's not good. I want it to plateau. So just by clicking this box there, just change the numbers up. Ah, it actually fits. Great. So that's uh, the line of best fit, curve of best fit, interchangeable terminology there. So here's another scattering of points. I think that's going to be a straight line. So let me try and draw the line of best fit through them. Oh no. Now that's not the line of best fit. That's not showing that you understand that the data had some variability and that there's a pattern there that, that can be revealed. A linear relationship. Now how do you know you have to start from zero, zero? You don't know that. At X and Y, who knows, what, who knows what we're measuring here? It's not obvious, it has to be zero and zero. There's my first attempt, but to me it looks like uh, the dots aren't scattered evenly, uh, an even distance and an even number of dots on each side of the line there. It looks like it's a little too high. All right then, yeah. Now the scattering and the distance of the dots seems fair, both sides of the line. So that's my line of best fit. Notice it hasn't hit any dots. It doesn't have to hit any dots. 
the line of best fit, in this case, has just shot right between them. Well, let's see what Mr. Gates thinks. Oh, oh that's not bad. That's not bad, Thornley. Jeez, I'm like a line of best fit machine. I am awesome. Uh-oh, spell check. <laughs> 